All right, people. All right. It is time. It is time. You guys have been waiting and asking, so I am delivering. Sabrina Carpenter, short and sweet. It came out, I think, very recently, like two weeks ago or something. Yeah, August 23rd, so it's been about two weeks. Um, I'm finally getting to it. Yeah, I've really liked what I've heard from her so far. I did her last album. It was great. Um, honestly, more unique than I thought because when someone pops off with art with uh, songs like Espresso, you're like, okay, this person might not be that crazy unique in their music. But from what I've figured out through doing this for a year now or almost a year, um, that's not the case. It's like when I listen to Tara Swift, her album is way different from her radio hits or her playlist hits, whatever. So, uh, yeah, same thing with her. Her album, her last one was great. I'm sure this one will be too. I'm super excited. I've really enjoyed her so far. Um, I've heard Taste already because I've seen the music video. The music video is probably my video of the year. Shit was bad shit crazy. It was awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to listen to Taste again without the video. So yeah, track number one, Taste. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got Sabrina, short and sweet, 12 songs, 36 minutes. Let's go. Now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me. One degree of separation. I'm just picturing the video right now. The lyrics of this song is so crazy. Honestly, super cool. It is super unique to make a song like this. Um, it's just not all lovey-dovey. It's like, I'm going to kill you. It's hilarious. Once or twice and sing about it. Don't mean I care. Yeah, I know I've been known to share. I've been known to share. Well, I heard you're back together. And if that's true, you'll just have to tease me when he's kissing you. Great way to start an album. A lot of times albums will start with like kind of boring intros. I feel like a lot of artists do that. I don't know why. I think you should start it like this. Go ahead and hit that bitch right on the head and give me a banger. And that's what she did. So awesome song. Um, I'm going to skip Please, Please, Please because um, I've heard it so many times. So uh, I also think that's a great hit. That's another great song. Um, let's get into Good Graces. Track number three. Let's go. I hope she keeps the same production style on this album. On the, on the, the last album, it was pretty unique. When I love you, I'm sweet like an angel drawing hearts from a name. Second, I know lots of guys, you do something so 
suspect is cute as bye bye. Like, ooh, baby, you say you really like it being mine. So let me give you some advice. Boy, it's not that complicated. You should stay in my good graces. I'm not switchable like that so fast. Cause no one's more amazing at turning. That was cool. song uh that'll honestly it sounds like that's going to be like another hit another big hit um i could be wrong but i'm probably not okay yeah that sounds like it's going to be another big hit um right off the bat i mean not one of my favorites from her i'd, I'd you know i'd rather take taster please 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 but that one i like how she kept it uh it's like calm th th here's the trend with her like calm in her tone but her lyrics are saying something the opposite like you better stay in my good graces or i'm gonna hook up with your favorite athlete like the stuff she says is just is it's crazy but it's it's so good though um so yeah that was good too let's go to track number four sharpest tool boom i know you're not the sharpest tool Calling you dumb, bro. Best friends, then a bird flies by and you forget. I don't hear a word till your guilt creeps in on a Tuesday. Send a soft hey. As if you really don't recall the time we were going right, then you took a left. Just a second guess Guess oh it's another year I'm wondering if If that was casual Then I'm an idiot I'm looking for an answer In between the lines Lying to yourself If you think we're fine You're confused And I'm upset But we never talk about it We never talk about it We never talk about it
I love the chords in the background, and when it goes into the chorus, and she's singing, we never talk about it, how it kind of feels like you're just floating with those chords and shit coming in. I really like that one. Uh, this one seems a lot more vulnerable, too. It's not like, F you, I'm the one, you know, this one, she gets a lot more vulnerable, and she's, you know, as she's going into why she's confused and upset, and something we've all felt. That one was really good. I mean, they've all been good so far. That's but that one right there. In terms of like what I haven't heard so far, that's that's my favorite so far. All right, let's go track number five. Coincidence. Is it different? The second I put my head on your chest, she knew she's got a real six sense. And it comes up twice And without it even being here She's back in your life Now she's in the same damn city On the same damn night Oh no And you lost all your common sense What a coincidence Last week you didn't have any doubts This week You're holding space for her tongue in your mouth Now she's sending you some pictures Wearing less and less Trying to turn the past into the present tense mm. Sucking up To all of your mutual friends And you lost All your common sense The way you Truth minus seven percent. Seven percent. What a coincidence. I didn't do that. Coincidence. 
Hell yeah. Okay. All right, I take it back. That's my new favorite out of what I haven't heard. That was awesome. I love the chorus where it pauses and she sings What a Coincidence and then you hear boom, la 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 la, boom, da 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 da, la 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 la. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Good shit, Sabrina. Good shit. Okay, let's go uh, see if she can get better than that. Track number six, Bed Kim. Bed chemistry, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. I was in a sheer dress the day that we met. We were both in a rush. We talked for a sec. You friended me up so we could connect. And what are the odds? You sent me a text and now the next thing I know, I'm like, manifest. That's your oversized. I digress. Got me scrolling like, out of breath. Got me going like, Come right on me. I mean camaraderie. That's pure lyricism right there. Come with me, see it in my mind. Let's fulfill the prophecy. Who's the cute guy with the white blue eyes and the big bad I know it's not a bit redundant, but I bet we'd have really good bad. just like takes you back to the 90s that is so 90s and groovy i freaking love that you know how much they made songs like this in the 90s with r&b singing about sex and having this groovy ass beat behind it dun 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 you can just groove to that shit i mean that was awesome um favorite line is Come right on me. I mean, camaraderie. That that's hilarious. That song will probably blow up as well. Bed Kim and Good Graces is probably gonna. They're both probably gonna blow up. I like Bed Kim better though. That one was awesome. That took me back to a time where I wasn't even born. I mean, I wasn't alive in the '90s, but the music that was coming from the '90s. Get it? Coming from the '90s. Oh, I'm good. Sounded just like that. That was awesome. And that's what I mean by Sabrina can get really unique from other pop artists. Um, a lot of big pop artists, I haven't heard make a song like that this year, throwing it back to a 90s R&B style. That was super, super awesome, super unique. Great song. Great song. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to skip Espresso because we've all heard it a million times. I don't know... If you guys want to hear it again, go listen to it. I cannot. I've heard this song. I've heard Expresso so many times. So um, I like Expresso. I think we we all know, like you know, 
songs can get overplayed now. I, it, they've played it so many times, but great, it is a great song, great hit. Let's go to uh, track number eight, Dumb and Poetic. You're so dumb and poetic It's just what I fall for I like the aesthetic Every self-help book You've already read it Cherry pick lines Like there are words you invented Gold star for highbrow Manipulation And love everyone Is your favorite quotation Try to come up Like you're soft and well spoken Jack off to lyrics By Leonard Cohen Don't think you I really like when she has laid back beats like that because it can kind of bring out her voice even more. It can show how good her voice really is. Like on this part, um, don't think you understand where she drowns it out. Don't think you. That sounded so good. Um, and once again, she's taking hits off lyrics like, I need to know her who all has hurt this woman because she's putting it all into these songs. I mean, cherry pick lines, word you've invented, highbrow manipulation. Um, and just because you talk like one doesn't make you a man, that's the one that, that hit me the most. Because, um, hell, I might be guilty of that too. I think I am. But there's a lot of people in my life that... Uh, a lot of people I can call friends or just other guys that I know that think they've got it all figured out and they're this like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. They're a man. They're a, they're a big old man. They got everything figured out just because they know how to talk like one, but they don't practice what they preach. Um, so I get what she's saying. I do. Great song. Let's go. Number nine, Slim Pickens. What a great song title. life alone I am not dramatic these are just the thoughts that pass right through me all the douchebags in my phone play them like a slot machine if they're winning I'm just losing <laughs> a boy who's jacked and kind can't find his has to save my life oh it's sleep I can't have the one I love I guess it's you that I'll be kissing Just to get my fixings Since the good ones are deceased or taken I'll just keep on moaning and bitching <laughs> Jesus, what's a girl to do? This boy doesn't even know the 
difference between there, there, and they are. It is naked in my room. Missing all the things he's missing. God knows that he isn't living large. A boy who's nice that breathes. I swear he's no. Are deceased or taken? I'll just keep on moaning and bitching. are cracking me up on this album how could you not laugh at this like this is hilarious this last part the lord forgot my gay awakening then i'll just sit in the kid like she's saying you know i, I don't know the, the gayness never hurt her like she's into men but she can't find a good one so she's just gonna sit here serving up some moaning and bitching imagine you're the guy she hooked up with and you hear this song on this album how would this make you feel I mean, holy shit, man. The lyrics are hilarious. This song reminded me of a, a country song, to be honest. Um, especially the background instrumentals. It, it And she had this flow like it was a country song. Maybe she'll start making some country songs. I don't know. That's probably a stretch, but it reminded me of a country song. Um, God, that one was really good, too. All of these have been really good. They've been really good. I think my favorites so far are Sharpest Tool, Coincidence. Okay, wait. I can't. I'm just going to say all of them are my favorite. Because this is hard. Bed Kim. Yeah, this is hard. This is a short album, too. So I might just like every single song. I, let's go track number nine, Juno. It may be relating to the movie. If you guys haven't seen Juno, you should. It's a great movie. <laughs> Just get it Whole package, babe I like the way you fit God bless your dad's genetics Mark 
take when she was writing the, these some of these songs, man. She is on some freaky shit. <laughs> good too i really like the switch ups on it it had a calm beat but then it would switch into this more upbeat tempo going into the verses and and yeah she's singing about she's relating it to the movie juno if you guys haven't seen juno like i said you should it is a great movie but it's about two people that hook up for the first time and they're in high school and uh, their first time she gets pregnant, which, that sucks. But <laughs> your first time ever in high school you get pregnant. But that's what she's saying. Like, I might uh, make you, let, let you make me Juno. And that's why she's saying one of me is good, but two of us, though. So, um, yeah, that that's a clever track. I like that. Also, like I said, my God, she is, I don't know what, she's taken on some of these songs, but Lord have mercy. Some of these songs are freaky, man. Freaky. She's trying to let you know that she's not with Disney no more. Don't associate her with that shit. She's on some freaky shit. She's a grown woman, damn it. Alright, let's go uh, track number 11. Lie to Girls. Don't swear on your mom it's the first drink that you've had in like a month No, don't say it was just An isolated incident that happened once There's no need to pretend I've never seen an ugly truth that I can't bend It's something that looks better I'm stupid but I'm clever Yeah, I can make a shit show look a whole lot like forever And ever You don't to lie to girls If they like you They'll just lie to themselves Like you They'll just lie to themselves You don't have To lie to girls If they like you They'll just lie to themselves Don't I know Your best excuses No, they don't stand a chance Against all the chances I give you Isn't ideal, but damn You don't even have to try Turn you into a good guy You don't have to lift a finger It's lucky for you I'm just like My mother and my sister All my, all my friends The girl outside the strip club Getting her tarot cards We love to read the cold hard facts And swear and correct we love to mistake butterflies for cardiac arrest. You don't <laughs> have to lie to girls. If they like you, they'll just lie to themselves. Like you, they'll just lie to themselves. You
taking notes, Sabrina. I'm taking notes. Nice little outro there. Um, I'm taking notes. Don't lie to girls because they will lie to themselves. Note it. I'm, I'm not going to lie anymore because you guys are just going to do it for me. Don't make any excuses. Um, you know, a lot of this I, can, I can't relate to because I'm not a woman. But, you know, I haven't been in, in her position on, on all these things here. But... A lot of this I have seen, I can get why a lot of women are upset with men. Because, listen, I'm not just going to say this for the YouTubes, alright? I like to think I'm a pretty decent guy. I've never cheated, you know. Um, a lot of stuff she's sung about on here, I haven't done. You know, lied about a lot of things. I feel like I'm, I'm like the bare, you know, I am the bare minimum here. I'm a decent guy. I'm not amazing, I'm not trying to say my point I'm trying to make is I do know a lot of guys that are exactly like what she's singing about. So she is preaching the truth. Uh, a lot of guys that cheat, a lot of guys that lie, a lot of guys that just don't care. You know, as long as they get there, as she puts it, fixing, they don't care. So, yeah, it's sad. I, it is sad to hear it from a woman's perspective, too. Like, damn, it's like, you know. How they make y'all feel, but listen, there's good guys out there, there's good girls out there, you just gotta look for them, gotta look in the right places. She might be looking at the wrong places, maybe famous guys, maybe Hollywood guys are not the way to go, Sabrina. Um, so, maybe go another route, because I feel bad for you, and hey, if you want my number... I'll give it to you. I mean, if you're asking, I guess I'll give it to you. All right. Track number 12, Don't Smile. This is the last track. It's been a great album so far. Let's get into it.
calm, laid back track to end it. I think that's a good way to end the record. Good shit. A somber track to end the album. Another good song. Um, don't smile because it happened. Cry because it's over. She wants the guy to, to cry and every time he thinks about his new girl. Um, that's funny. A lot of the lyrics on this album have been great. Have been like, made me laugh through the song. Because some of them are so outrageous that it's just awesome. And it's super unique. The way she approaches it. I really like the production on this record too. So I was, you know, I was kind of scared that the production wouldn't be as unique as the last, the last album. But uh, I think it was. I think it goes all over the place. It kind of goes like you have songs like "Taste," "Please, Please, Please," "Good Graces," and "Expresso" that are songs that are standout hits. They want to be standout hits. They're catchy. The instrumental you could take a guess at, you know, songs like that, which are not bad songs at all. Um, obviously, that's how the you know that's how they become hits. But then you have songs like "Sharpest Tool," "Bed Kim," "Dumb and Poetic," "Juno," songs that are being unique within the production and the lyrics. That those are the standout tracks to me when a track when it's a song like that on the album that's being different, unique, just bringing something different to the table, especially for a pop artist. Um, yeah, overall, this album was very good. And she's only going to keep getting better. I know she's been singing for a long time, but now she's in the limelight. I mean, look at her. She has 84 million monthly listeners right now. So I feel like she's only going to put out better, better albums. But I really like this one. Do I like it as much as the last one? I don't know. I'm going to have to keep listening to it. Um, I think, based off my first listen, my favorite tracks are Sharpest Tool, Coincidence, Bed Kim, Juno. I think those are my favorites. And then, obviously, including like stuff like Taste, um... Please, 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 Expresso. I'm just saying it in terms of stuff like I haven't heard yet. Uh, yeah, that was a really good record, guys. Um, let me know what you all thought about it. I thought she brought her A-game to the table. I think it's really good. Like I said, I think she's only going to get better from here, too. Uh, she's not veering far off the path. Like It seems like just trying to make hits like a lot of artists will end up doing. So, yeah, keep it up. Keep it up, Sabrina. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you guys want next. Let me know what you guys thought of the album. Is this your favorite album from her now? Uh, or was it the last one? Or maybe an earlier one that I haven't heard? I've only heard two of her albums. This is the second one I've heard. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. And, uh, yeah, let me know what artist you want next. Maybe you want me to do her some of her music videos maybe live performances that she's done. Just let me know what you guys want. As always, I'm here for you all, and I appreciate the support. Um, the fact that you guys have grown this channel so much and you just keep coming back is freaking amazing. Yeah, I love you guys. And I just realized at the end of this video, the lighting in this is crazy. The sun coming in, I have a light coming for the camera. hope it's not too uh, bothersome for you guys. <laughs> There's like, it looks like Jesus is shining all through my room right now. Come on, God. He's here for this reaction. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm yapping. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. And have a good day. Peace out. See you next time.